Hello again, race fans. This is Greg Lagnice, the creator of the Racing Simulator Sled. Uh, today I'm going to go over the expansion of the Racing Simulator Sled. As usual, we had uh, design goals. We wanted everything to be dropped in. We wanted it to work like it would in a real car, and it had to be easy to add and remove. Now, to that end, I looked at the uh, essentially the setup and the ergonomics of F1 versus a car, and utilized this uh, type of a a space measurement which was derived actually from my BMW M3 uh, which has a very short throw shifter and uh, basically the measurements for the tilt of the shifter and the location from the seat and the steering wheel were all derived from that. Here's a quick example of me actually using the dash and the shifter. Uh, you can see um, exactly why it's positioned where it is in terms of reach. Our cost goals were fairly high, mainly because of the dash. For the shifter, I wanted a good shifter like an automotive shifter. I wanted to stick with the same materials we used for the build uh, so that it was easy for everybody else to build their own. I also wanted a carbon fiber look for the actual finished product. Here you can see the actual shell that's been built, uh, hardwood and MDF for the most part. It's just a drop-in. That little plate on the front allows it to wedge. This is what the carbon fiber Dynock wrap looks like when it's applied to the actual uh, hardboard. For the shifter, we're using a Thrustmaster TH8RS uh, shifter, which can be toggled between an 8-speed shifter and the plate can be replaced with a sequential plate, so just forward and back. Uh, the entire unit is basically wedged in by the little plate on the front and the back plate, so there's no tools required. Here's the finished deck and uh, shifter. Here are the USB ports with the connectors that go in the front of the unit. And here you can see the finished product now that's been opened up to include the USB ports and the finished internal USB ports where I connect. So the process is very simple. We simply lift out the standard armrest and stow it and then we wedge in the front shifter unit and then lock it in with the rear plate. So here we see the actual finished armrest. Here's the parts as designed. And basically, we just stow the finished armrest in there when we need to use the shifter and drop the shifter right in place of it. One last point about the design. It was primarily made as a box to leave as much room as possible for a mouse, mouse pad, drinks, and movement of the monitors. Now, in this quick demo, as I really want to demonstrate here is the ergonomics of this layout. Um, this is our factor 2 that I'm uh, driving in right now. But essentially, the shifter placement is exactly or would be in a BMW M3 in terms of distance from my grip. Now, I know it looks uh, like I'm a little bit stretched out, but that's because of the wide-angle camera. Nevertheless, the uh, shifter is in the exact position it should be in, like I say, for a typical short throw uh, in a car like an M3. Okay, for the dash, I use an SRH hardware CSW dashboard system, a Pro Race uh, LED display, and Sim Project Sim Dash software to control it all. Here you can see the BMW viewing position, so it forms a very nice natural dash like in a car. You also have safety toggle switches and a slew of different buttons you can map for just about anything. You've got rotary encoders for brake bias, boost, and also toggle switches for head, uh, headlamps and things like that, windshield wipers. Here you can see me uh, switching between the different modes, uh, both on the Fanatec wheel and then using the rotary encoders to switch different settings on the actual Pro Race Unit LED display. For the uh, Fanatec wheels LEDs, what I use there is a uh, utility called Fana LED. It allows me to program the uh, wheel itself for different things. Here you can see the RPM is currently shown. Uh, my, my toggling right there just switched it to miles per hour. Um, I can set the left and right side of the Pro Race dash uh, board unit to display whatever I want using those two rotary encoders that are positioned uh, left and right as you see what I'm doing here, switching between different types of things like speed and position and so on. Um, both of these things work uh, together quite nicely. And uh, again, you can see barely in the bottom right there, the steering, or not the steering, the shifter, and uh, all the physical switches. So I can work this just like I would in a real car with my rev limiters and all that kind of stuff. So in closing, I will be going ahead and posting the blueprints for the uh, shifter add-on. You can get the dash from SRH Hardware. It's uh, worth every penny. 
And uh, as always, thank you for watching and uh, enjoy the final demo where I put it all together.